Hey everyone and welcome back. It's not even been 24 hours since I released my last video on my top 21 games for a volume 2 of the Super Nintendo Classic. And here it is Saturday evening and we're able to add whatever we want to the Super Nintendo Classic. So without further ado, let's take a look at Pac-G version 2.2 and get some of those games that we just talked about added. When I first fired up Hackg version 2.2, it asked me what system I had connected and wanted to add games to, which is nice. I obviously picked the Super Nintendo Classic and began adding games. So my thought process was I'll add all that and then try to sync it. It'll ask me to dump the kernel, which it did, um, but I ran into an I.O. error when I was doing that. So I switched USB ports, still got the I.O. error, and I am assuming it's user error, but I went in and then just dumped the kernel manually. After I did that, went through, checked all my games, and then was able to sync everything up. Most of the games I added were ones that I called out in my last video. You'll notice also at the bottom, I've got a pretty decent amount of space. This version of HackG is actually compressing. You'll notice at the top, there's that compression box and it compresses games automatically. So it allows us to fit more on there. At the time of this recording, I have just over 80 games on the Super NES Classic, but I've got room for plenty of others to add. Um, I think you kind of want to be careful. A lot of the box art images I was grabbing were very high resolution. I mean, over time that can add up, but for me at this point, I'm not really missing a lot of games that I wanted to have on there and didn't move over. In fact, I've got plenty of space left for others, and I'm pretty satisfied at this point with what's on the system. And it's not hard to change, it's really easy and it only takes a few seconds to flash games back and forth. So. Um, overall though, I'm pretty satisfied with what I have on here. All of the games that I put on here are running beautifully off of Nintendo's built-in stock emulator. I haven't added any of the other cores yet. I know that Star Ocean doesn't run and there might be some others and there's a workaround for that. Obviously you can install SNES 9X and have that run. For me, I haven't done that. I haven't run into any issues. And I kind of like that the games that I'm putting on here are being driven off of Nintendo's own coded emulator. So there's no real reason for me to switch that up at this point. So I got most of my games on here from my list. I've of course added some others. I did take 16-bit Bricks' advice and added NBA Tournament Edition instead of the regular NBA Jam. I also added Wild Guns, Saturday Night Slam Masters, and uh, a bunch of other games that I, I really enjoy. We're not really limited to just that 21. That was more of a, a just for fun video if there was a true volume two, but this isn't going to be like the NES Classic Edition where we're able to move over the full USA library. I just don't think there's room for that even with the compression that's taking place. There's certainly more than enough space to get the top 100 games of Super NES on here. So I don't really know that that's a big issue. And like I said before, it's pretty easy to flash back and forth if you want to add or change your games out. So. All that said, really pretty much business as usual if you're familiar with doing the NES Classic Edition updates and, and changing things around with Hackchi on that. This really isn't a whole lot different. It's pretty much the same interface and behaves just like you might expect. But it is fantastic that after only a week's worth of time, we have all this up and running, which I think we kind of all knew would happen sooner or later. But wow, was that ever fast. Thanks for watching, everybody. Enjoy the rest of the weekend.